What's up everyone, my name is Nagark. Welcome back to Human Resource Machine. Today we're gonna to be doing 21. Zero terminated sum. Um... Yes, we believe in educating our employees on the job here. Do you know what zero terminated string is? Yes, it is a very old technique and we don't expect you to know. So you may ask me about it if you like. Or you may ask an external source. Whatever helps you get the job done. What is a zero terminated string? Yes, I can tell you. A string is just a list of values. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Or 4992. Wait, 4992. But how do we know when one string ends and another string begins? We can mark the end of the string with something special. Like a zero! Here are two zero terminated strings. 1, 2, 3, 0, 9, 8, 0. See how that works? And sometimes a string can be empty. Here are three strings. Notice that the middle one is empty. One, two, three, zero, zero, five, zero. And yes, sadly, this all means a string cannot contain the number zero. Since zero means something special. Well, now we know. Back to work. What? The inbox is filled with zero terminated strings. What's that? Ask me, your boss. Add together all the numbers in each string. When you reach the end of the string, marked by a zero, put your sum in the outbox. Reset and repeat for each string. So inbox, if it's zero, We are going to have sum. Pretty simple. So inbox, copy there. Well, for it's going to be copy there, technically. <laughs> then inbox, jump if zero. Well, no, it would be... That's stupid, it would be this. No, it wouldn't because I had to copy. Inbox, jump if zero. Yeah, I can't do this because it's gonna keep copying to zero. Actually... Inbox. We'll worry about the first thing first. Well, I have to know how long... I can't have this based off of how long the string is and me knowing it. It has to work for any string of any length. And if I have a jump here to inbox and copy to zero, it's just going to keep copying to zero, and I don't want that. What if it doesn't have to do with that? What if it's an outbox? What if it's a jump if zero? Inbox outbox. If it's zero jump. No, because it has to be the sum. Inbox. copy to zero. And then inbox. And copy to one. You see, I can't do that because it I know how long the string is. It has to work for an unlimited string. It has to work for an unlimited string. So it has to work for a two string, it has to work for a 50 string. I know I need to jump if zero, though. Is that cube moving? Are the cubes moving? Wait! I think the cubes wiggle. I'm gonna have to zoom in on that and see if that's- if I'm correct in that, because either I'm seeing things and my vision is wiggling, or those cubes are moving. Oh, that bothers me now. Oh my god, no. Okay, okay. Okay. God, where... Inbox, jump of zero. Copy to zero. Inbox. Jump. 
jump if zero. If that one is zero, I want it to copy from here, outbox, and jump. Pretty simple. Okay, so if inbox, copy to zero, inbox. If it's zero, I need it to No, I want I want this to be some. No, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. No, okay. If it's zero. Okay, I don't have to put any zeros in the outbox. It just says to continue. So if zero just jump back to the beginning. Simple. This one is inbox. If it is not zero, if it's a four, we will copy it there and we will inbox. And then we will add them together. Copy it to there. And jump to the beginning. And we'll inbox. If it's zero, no, that doesn't quite work. And then we have to inbox again. And if zero... I like how I put some there and I'm not using it. And if it's not zero... Then we come up here and inbox. I'm not even using it as the sum. So that should add together and copy it down. If this one is zero, it should copy the 11 and outbox it. And then it should put the 5 there, get the 8, add them together, copy it down. Grab the 2. Nope. Okay, so what happened? We're gonna fast forward just so I can get to the good part. It's the next one that I have issues with. Inbox. We got the two. We're copying the two. We are inboxing. And then we are adding. And we are copying it down. Then we are inboxing. If it is not zero... Jump to the beginning. No, that's wrong. If it is not zero... Jump to here. That's right. I don't want it to go that fast. I want it to be seeable. Add it together. Copy it down. Grab it. Add it together. Copy it down. Is it zero? Yes. Grab the eight. Go there. Start over. Zero. To toss it. Toss it. Yes. And it should keep going until it finds a zero. 9, 16, I found a 0, outbox it. What? Why did it expect a 0? So I'm, I'm fine until the long string. Fine until the long string. Okay, so this is where the issue came in. One. Copy it down. Then get the inbox. And then this should be negative five. Go to the inbox. Then this should be three. Get the inbox. Four. Get the inbox. Two. 
five. This is a zero. So copy the five and outbox it. What? Vironbix is four eight zero zero seven zero. But zero marks the end of a string, so why would I ever copy a zero? Well, first off, let's get rid of this. This is bothering me now. What is a zero terminated string? Yes, I can tell you. A string is just a list of values, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 4, 99, 2. But how do we know when one string ends and another string begins? We can mark the end of a string with something special, like a zero. Here are two zero terminated strings. 1, 2, 3, 0, 9, 8, 0. 1, 2, 3, and 9, 8 would have been the strings. And sometimes a string can be empty. Here are three strings. Notice the middle one is empty. 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 5, 0. And yes, sadly, this all means a string cannot contain the number 0, since 0 means something special. Well, now we know. Back to work. Your inbox is filled with 0 terminated strings. What's that? Ask me your boss. So... No, that's not right. If a zero, if a string is terminated by zero, and it's zero and then zero, it should be... It should just not be a string. Like, look at this. You see that zero? It's telling me that that string... That this zero counts as a zero. As a string. But the way I see it is that there's no string there. Zero to zero is no string. There is no string. Then zero to zero is no string. But what it's telling me is that that zero is a string in itself, and the zero right here marks the end of that zero. So how do I fix that? Fast forward. So how do I get a zero string? Yeah, do your thing, whatever. And that marks the end of the string. Jump to the beginning. We are going to inbox. If it is zero, we jump to there. Then we jump back to the beginning. If it is zero, we jump here. And then do we inbox? What if I put it here? And then inbox, and if it's zero again... Inbox, jump if zero, to there. And if this one is also zero, we jump all the way back here. Copy from zero, or copy from five. Outbox it and jump, jump back to the beginning. Okay. So that's saying if I see two zeros in a row, then that was a zero string. Oh boy. Technically, I don't need to copy from, I just need to outbox it. How? What? Wait, what's happened here? Oh, I see. Inbox if zero, and if it isn't zero, we want to jump to the copy two. I messed that up. Eight. And then we should get that, copy the eight, throw it in the outbox. Six. 
And negative six. And six. Outbox the six. Because of that. Now... Zero. I technically don't need the copy from in there. But this is right. Right? Do your math. Keep doing math. This should be right. What? What? How does that even work? Okay, so zero terminated. Eleven. Terminates the string, so that seven goes there. Now, this zero is now its own string. This zero terminates this zero. Or no, this zero terminates this zero. Is it telling me that if it is a zero... Go back a step. So this zero terminates the string. But if there is no string... Okay, I was thinking about this wrong. I was thinking that this zero terminated the string of zero. But what it's actually doing is that these both act as a string themselves. Because a string never started. I guess. I guess. So here, we inbox. And if it's zero, we jump. Why am I having it double jump here? If it's zero, we jump. If it's zero, we jump all the way back here. No, I need to undo that. Okay. If it's zero, we jump here. If it's still zero... No, that's fine. If it's zero, we jump here. Outbox. Start over. Okay. Correct. Three. Outbox it. Now if this is zero, it should just outbox the zero. If this is zero, it should just outbox the zero. Now it should do the string perfectly. Do your math. Yes. Ten or fewer commands. Hey, I got the 72 step thing! I don't think I actually have time for the next one. I think I'm out of time for this episode. It's at 19 minutes. And, you know, that one was such a- that one was, like, I had to work through it all the way through. And I was pretty much always talking about it. I wasn't like, ah. So I think if I keep talking through what I'm doing rather than just keeping it in my head, it works a lot better than what I was doing before. So that was zero terminated sum. My name's Nagark, and thank you for watching.